What's happening YouTube? Welcome to another video. In this video we're talking about browser mod proxy and how to install it on Windows. This is going to be a very short video, but the videos that are, fo that are going to follow this video, uh, they're also going to be about uh, browser mod proxy and they will talk about how to use browser mod proxy with Python programmatically, uh, both how to start and stop ser uh, servers uh, with Python using WebDriver, both for Google Chrome uh, driver and the Firefox driver. And then I'll also talk about how to use this browser mod proxy as a standalone proxy server, uh, both with Google Chrome and Firefox. I'll also talk about how to install certificates uh, both on Google Chrome and on Firefox. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So first thing we need to do is go to this website, bmp.lightbody.net, and then we need to download browser mod proxy uh, zip. So I actually don't have it, so let's download it together. So it goes into my downloads. I'm just going to extract everything right into this folder. I don't need it anymore, so I'll remove the archive. Now I'll go to browser mode proxy folder. Inside here we have a couple of folders. There's two important ones. There's bin and SSL support. SSL support we'll talk about later in the, in the videos where we're going to cover how to install the certificates. But basically it has all of your certificates here. Uh, we need the bin folder right now. So the file that I'm actually interested in right now is this browser mod proxy.bat. If you are on Windows, that's the one you want. If you're looking at this tutorial and you're on Linux, this is actually the same thing on, on Linux, but you, you'll just have to use this um, whether on Mac or Linux, you'll have to use this other file. So I'm just going to copy this path over here and go to my terminal. And I'm going to run this uh, browser mod proxy dot bat. Uh, now I want to run it on a specific address. This is going to be my local host. And you can provide port as well, but I'll just run it on port on the default port, which is uh, 8080. So let's go ahead and start this guy. And you see that over here it tells me that it started um, the channel. Now the channel is not actually proxy. If I try to connect uh, through my browser right now to this host with this port, it's actually not going to route any uh, connections to the internet because this is actually not the proxy. Now we need to actually start a proxy. Now how do we do that? We can curl my uh, local host on that port 8080 slash proxy. Actually, I'll just show you this uh, curl. <clears throat> so what I get back is this proxy list, which means there is no proxies available right now over here. So to create the proxy, I need to fire a post request with minus x post this will actually start a proxy server. Now, if I want to connect to my proxy, I can do that right now. Now, if I fire the same call before, uh, which is a, a get call on that localhost 8080 slash proxy, you can see that I have a proxy running on this port 8081. Now, if I connect to it through whatever Google, uh, Google Chrome or WebDriver, or Firefox, I can do that by using this as the host and using this as a port. Now, the beautiful thing with uh, with BMP is you can actually have multiple proxies running. So if I do that post, um, if I do this post call again, it will create another proxy. And if I do it again, it will create another proxy. And I can actually configure those proxies however I want. So for example, I can like make DNS changes to this proxy that if I go to google.com, it's actually going to redirect it to a different um, a different IP. Uh, essentially, I'll change the DNS to point google.com to a different IP. So that's really useful for, for hackers. Now, all of this can be done through a REST uh, service that is running on this port, essentially. Uh, which is really nice. It's really beautiful to see this uh, REST API uh, for this proxy because you can really configure it like from any machine on your network. If that machine has access to, to this service, it can make changes. And then you can actually, like if you don't want to extend that ability to every single machine on the network, you can actually hide uh, that proxy server behind a uh, behind another service 
like Django, and then you can require authentication there to kind of uh, prevent an unauthorized uh, parties from making changes to your proxies. Um, but otherwise, you can also configure certain proxies to have uh, to capture um, everything that that goes through the network in a hard file. Um, we'll actually talk about how to do that in the next videos. Uh, as far as this video goes, I think I'll stop right here. Um, next video, we'll talk about how to uh, set up proxy on Chrome and Firefox and how to install certificates on both of them. And then I'll show you how to uh, configure uh, getting the hard files um, from the standalone server, which is what we're running right now. We're, we're running the standalone server. Um, all right, guys, if this video helped you out, make sure to like it, subscribe, and share. And as always, take care.